Hey, Chan Carter here with ChanCarter.net and LearnHollowinds.com. And uh, today I'm, I'm addressing a couple of comments uh, on YouTube. So this is all around spatial understanding. Uh, so let's dig in. So uh, this one here was my Beyond Sp Holland Spatial Mapping, uh, Spatial Understanding video that I did back in September of uh, 2016. And it was when I was kind of announcing Learn Hall Lens and was just kind of showing off this brand new thing called spatial understanding. And uh, anyway, so I got a comment here. Uh, it says, you forgot to include the part where you actually teach something. So, so there you have it. So yeah, uh, I guess what I was teaching here wasn't how to initially use uh, spatial understanding. It was more about, hey, there's this cool thing out here called spatial understanding. Let me demo it uh, while I'm talking about my new site. Uh, so yeah, you, you could possibly look at my other videos and get some uh, tutorials or whatever, uh, but there's that one. So there's not much to say about that. Uh, the next one is actually in the video that I did do a little bit of explaining of spatial understanding and at least showed how to get it running in the HoloLens emulator. Um, so it goes in a little bit more detail about spatial uh, understanding, but here uh, Bart just recently asked a question says, hey, I'm using Unity 5.5.0F3. I've been unable to get the spatial understanding demo working. It works more or less the same as you and others have demonstrated, except that when the window pops up, I can't really interact with it. Gazing at the buttons doesn't highlight them and air tapping usually has no effect. Sometimes it randomly works. It behaves both this way on the actual device and using the emulator, any ideas? We're using the uh, Hollow Technical Preview build of Unity or can you confirm that this spatial understanding demo scene works with the latest Hollow Toolkit snapshot in Unity 5.50. I've been racking my brain over this. I think the issue is localized to the UI components. Thank you, Bart. All right, so Bart, thanks so much for this question. Um, and I was like, well, that's interesting. I also have gotten some requests to do uh, teach about spatial understanding in the uh, Learn Hollands, uh, the membership site that I'm doing. So I was definitely looking into uh, spatial understanding again. It's definitely the most complex bit out of all of Holland's development uh, currently. And so it's, it's definitely going to be quite an undertaking to dig into exactly how spatial understanding works and how to work with that DLL. But what I wanted to do here was say, well, has it changed? Is it actually working or is it not working? Because the Hollow Toolkit, of course, it's open source and it's changing quite often. So what I wanted to do was Let's dig in and see uh, if it works. And we'll just step on, on through this and, and find out what we find out. All right, so let's actually get uh, the Hollow Toolkit for Unity, the latest version. Make sure we're using the latest version. So we'll pull down the latest from GitHub. Open that up, and then we'll uh, bring this into our Unity project. Well, let's confirm there's not a newer version of Unity as well. All right, so there is a new version of Unity. So let me download that, and we'll use the latest version of Unity as well. So 551F1. So we'll let this install, and once it installs, uh, we'll come back and make sure we can actually get spatial understanding and the latest version of the Hollow Toolkit to work with the latest version of Unity. All right, so Unity has been installed. 5.5.1F1 has been installed, so we're going to let that finish and let it launch. 
All right, so we'll just call this uh, spatial understanding 2016-2017-02. Okay, so you need to load. Let's go ahead and drag in the hollow toolkit here. All right, so the hollow toolkit's imported. So let's go ahead and get to our examples spatial understanding spatial understanding scenes spatial understanding scene all right so all that looks good all right so let's go ahead and go to configure and apply project settings let it reload all right so then we're going to go to build settings and you see sharp projects add open scenes might as well save the scene save the project player settings and let's see we'll say internet clients since we'll be using the emulator we will go with the microphone spatial perception and we'll build Call that UWP. Okay, we'll go on the UWP and watch you open up this solution so we can deploy it to the emulator. All right, so Visual Studio is loaded. We will change this to x86 and we'll go to emulator. We'll run that. So now that the emulator is up, we're expecting the deployment to succeed. All right. So we can walk around, scan in our area. We'll just kind of start looking around, let this scan in. It takes quite a while for this to work. So it looks like we're getting enough uh, scan in that we could actually uh, stop scanning. It just takes quite a while here. All right, so we'll tap here and see if we got enough of our scene scanned in. So as I'm moving my cursor around, it definitely doesn't appear to be working. Okay, I mean, so that confirms that it's not working. <laughs> so, uh, so getting the latest version of Unity and the latest version of the Hollow Toolkit and the spatial understanding is not working. Now, so what I did is opened up the GitHub repository for the Hollow Toolkit for Unity and went here to uh, the Open Issues, checked for Spatial Understanding, just did a search in there for Spatial Understanding, and this is what I'm looking at. So here on January 5th, we see the Spatial Understanding example uh, menu does not function properly with the new input system. Uh, so again, January 5th, input systems not working.
or the menu item is not working with the new input in the system. <laughs> so I thought this could be the case because the around December, in part of December, the input system got a major overhaul. And uh, so I figured this was this is was the culprit. But what I wanted to do was um, show it not working. And uh, here we are um, seeing an open issue with spatial understanding. So let's dig into this and see if we can figure out what's going on. All right, so we see special understanding example menu does not function properly in the input system, and users are only able to click on the GUI elements and buttons with ease. And the uh, comment is, Mr. Bobby Boberson, I believe this issue is fixed part of 432. And it looks like back in December, uh, Bobby Boberson was working to get Spatial understanding to actually work in the editor, which would be awesome. And let's go on down here. So it looks like it was ready to go. And so we could pull it from here, but it just so happens that the changes were just committed into the master. So we can grab the latest version of the Hall Toolkit and try this again. And so somehow my uh, screen recorder wasn't recording when I did another pull, but here's the pull I just did from uh, the Hall Toolkit again. And you'll see the changes I got here, including a bunch of uh, uh, spatial mapping. So here's all the pull and then open up uh, an explorer window and create a brand new Unity project and copied that in and that's this guy here. So you notice it's a spatial understanding demo 2017-02-14 uh, Valentine's Day versus the first one I did was just 2017-02 and brought in the Hollow Toolkit assets just like we did the very first part of the video. So nothing new here. I uh, just did the exact same thing we did before, and then I built it, right? But here's the really cool part, because uh, I did show this off, and I really hate that I wasn't uh, recording or something happened. But what I can do is hit, hit play, and now, because of the change that uh, Mr. Bobby Boberson did, this is now working in the editor, which is really fantastic. So again, this just happened uh, today. Just a couple hours ago, here we are on Valentine's Day, and um, so if I tried this before or later, um, we wouldn't be getting the same results. So this is pretty neat. And again, it takes a while to scan in, so obviously it's still taking a while even here in the Unity editor. Um, so it's pretty awesome that it's working here in the editor, and uh, we can actually finalize. So I'm going to hit the uh, Shift button. Uh, left shift to bring up my left hand basically and then right click to tap and once I tapped now we actually have the menu items and even here in the editor I can tap and it's going to place objects which is great I can come in here and say find the largest wall find the largest wall and put that there so that's pretty great I can come up here to my shape queries, uh, find the chairs, in this case it found that, and I found uh, that guy. Uh, let's see, we can look for suitable ob objects too. Let's see, four suitable objects. So larger, smaller, and uh, right here, so it's kind of neat. And uh, object placement, we could say, I don't know, four near me, why not? So there's a bunch of objects on the floor near me. So this is spatial mapping actually working inside of the Unity editor, uh, which is great. Should make working with this a whole lot easier um, to, uh, to test different things out. All right, so let's go and deploy this, make sure it is working on the emulator as we would expect. We'll build the solution and we'll deploy the solution. Let's try and get 
and some green. starting to see some of the mesh come up so we'll still kind of walk around here and let it continue to scan in the play space all right so we found looks like it's found three walls Quite a few things main thing I'm concerned about is walls so let's scan just a little bit more here. All right, so that should be good enough to scan again. So we will go ahead and tap to stop scanning. So here's our UI, and we can say find the largest wall, tap there, and it works in the emulator. So, and just do a couple more. Let's go to shape queries, and we'll see if we can find all the. See if we can find all the suitable surfaces. There are suitable surfaces. Found five of them. So that's working. We'll go over here to object placement and just say I'm about on the floor near me. And so there we have it. So their spatial understanding also work in the emulator. And again, it appears that the UI has not been working since maybe early January. So hopefully that answers your uh, question there, Bart. And um, I'll be digging more into uh, spatial understanding in the Learn Holland's membership site. And as I can I'll also uh, talk about some more here on the YouTube channel. But hopefully this is helpful. Again, if you have any questions, by all means let me know and I'll do my best to uh, get you an answer. I hope you have a great week and I'll see you in the next video.